This is in the air, but it should be safe. It should be more than safe. Is maximum. Charan Deja. You've got to wonder why he hasn't come a little earlier on to bat in the innings. When you've got a man of his talent, his explosive power, you've got to utilize it. Well, effectively, he's come in at four, and that's not a bad position for him, Rohan. With, with the uh, end overs coming in, he can really push the tempo along. Well, Raman, in T20 cricket, it's not about what number you come in. It's, it's about how many overs are left. It, you could back, come in at number three. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it because you might have two overs left. Number four might not be the right position. They're in in a T20 game, you've got to gauge how many overs are remaining and then send your batsman in. That's why you've got a, a very flexible batting order. That's another boundary there. While we've been debating what number Charan Teja should bat and he's just emphasizing the point. Another boundary there for him. Yes, another bomb checker. Wow, wow, moment there for the Telugu Warriors. And I think he's just playing a very teasing game with the long on fielder. One was straight. The 638 on the previous delivery was straight down the ground. This one much wider so I think the captain's in a bit of a quandary here does he pull the long on fielder straighter does he send him wide or does he have a widish deep mid wicket in position Again. well this could be a chance here has he misjudged it yes he has lost it in the sun and Teja gets away with another couple didn't judge it at all his line of running was all wrong he didn't run to the ball he ran in a semicircle in an arc which took him away from the ball and again Charan Teja this could have been the second time he could have gotten out and his wicket is one which you want to take as soon as possible leading a charmed life Nora, 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 Nora. That's well bowled right in the block hole. That's much better because otherwise anything around the uh, foolish length is where is what's being uh, smacked away. Yeah, but going back to uh, the stand between these two, 51 of just 32 deliveries, out of which Teja has contributed 34. And the scoring rate has stepped up now to 7.38, which means they could pretty much get to about 160, 165. That's big, that's massive, and that's six. Probably the biggest six of the inning so far. Charan Teja once again. Massive over. 18 off it so far. He's been outstanding. Yes, another bomb. Chikawawa moment there. Taken on the full. And hammered away. You don't need boundary ropes for that. As it goes into the gallery, Venkatesh is definitely delighted with that effort. So is uh, Chamundi the mentor for the Telugu Warriors team. That's another one. And that's six more. Tewari's bowling figures have been ruined. 135 for two for the Telugu Warriors. In that previous over. Six, four, two, a naught and then 6-6. Six, six. That's exactly how they scored. And Charan Teja has taken full toll. He's raced away to 46 of just 22 deliveries. That's what happened on the last delivery of the previous over. Two full tosses. That's what Manoj Tiwari wrapped up the over with. I think it's the heat getting to the bowlers as well. Well, he was injured in the last game that they played. And you can see the, the different expression in the two dugouts. Telugu Warriors on their feet, applauding, fantastic batting by Charan Teja, he really shifted the momentum in their favour. And Aditya gets into the act now, but well fetal on the boundary line. Unfortunately for the Dabangs, what it has done is it's got the dangerous Teja back on strike. Well, I think what's happening here is that they've got the field placement right i think they've got uh, a, a deep mid wicket on the fence and a long on which is much straighter up. they're appealing for a stumping there and i think the third umpire will come into play 
bowler looked more excited than the wicket keeper. Sharan Teja looks quite relaxed. This could be huge for the Dabangs if, he, if they've got the man. He's been in scintillating form. Well, the third umpire is Hemanta Boteju. He's played a fair bit of under-19 cricket in Sri Lanka as well. That's what happened. Take a closer look at this. Good collection by Ajoy. And was the foot in the air when the bales were dislodged. Can we see some shadow? Much better angle. And I'm sure this should prove to be decisive. Well, probably. Just probably got his toe down in time. Yes, that's when the toe is in the air. Now the bale has to be dislodged completely. And it's just a difference of a frame. Well, I know the benefit of the doubt needs to go to the batsman. But... This is tough. Who would be a third umpire? Hemanta Boteju will say, this is good. Well, I'm, I'm not so sure because there will be one team criticising him at the end of... end of the innings. I'm sure the Bhojpuri Dabangs, if they look at it, they think that's out. The Telugu Warriors looking at it will say, no, that's not out. Benefit of the doubt should go to the batsman, so... Who would be a third umpire? For this match, it's Hemanta Boteju and he says not out and that's what matters. That settles the issue. And I think that last freeze frame that we were shown, clearly showing the toe on the ground when the bales were dislodged. So Charan Teja still gets another shot at clearing the boundary ropes for the Telugu Warriors. 46 of 23, he's got a strike rate of 200. What a batter wouldn't give for that kind of a strike rate. But for me, I think this is a better field setting for him. Long on, long off, a much straighter, right in front of the dugouts on either side. A wide-ish deep mid-wicket. That'll force him to hit harder, to make sure he clears it. Oh, hit wider. That's what he's done. Another bomb chicka wow wow moment. Well, you need 15 fielders for him at the moment. That's what you need. He's in scintillating form. Get them wider, get them squarer. Push them back, get them forward. Doesn't matter to Charan Teja at the moment. He's going to find the gap. She's happy. She knows her team are back in a very strong position. Whatever you do, don't lip read. Goes for another one. And this is huge. Got the height, got the distance. And I tell you what, Oja is being taken to the cleaners. This bowling action is very reminiscent of uh, Abdul Qadir in, in the way he tosses the ball up, comes in and approaches the, the, the bowling crease, albeit Qadir was a lot wider in his run-up. Well, I hope you're not going to compare Teja to Tendulkar now <laughs> with the tonking he's giving Tiwari. Oja, sorry, I beg your pardon. Well, he got 27 in that legendary over that's still talked about against Abdul Qadir. Uh, Teja's got 11 so far, with two balls left, so I don't think that's going to happen. But well, whatever said and done, Oja has gone for what? 33 of 3.4 and Teja has raced away to 56 of 25, including three boundaries and five towering sixes. Well, is that going to be another ball-watching opportunity for the fielder? It is. Six more. We'll make that six towering sixes now. The last three overs have been mayhem. It's a boom chicka wow moment. Astronaut Axe is happy. He's definitely seen some satellites up in the sky for a while. Thanks to Charan Teja, who's stonked six sixes so far. That's a bomb chicka wow moment there for the Telugu Warriors. And Captain Venkatesh is pretty pleased. Why not? Oh, this could be a chance here. Oh, agonizingly close, but six more. What a way to end the over. Teja smacking it off the back foot. And he's moved up to 68. It's 158 for two.
Look at that. Just agonizingly over the fingertips of the fielder. So 18 gone, it's 158 for two.